As the prophet of esports, I rely on trustworthy and meaningful data every day. Data from our research partner, YouGov, offers the most complete view of esports fans and gamers in the world, providing context to who they are, what they think, the brands they buy, and things they do. YouGov's connected insights and research services inform strategy at every level. If you're a team, a brand, agency, or rights holder, you should be talking with YouGov. Their partners measure and maximize ROI and are telling compelling stories with data. Visit yougov.com slash gaming dash esports to learn more. Let's talk about Roblox. You guys mentioned Roblox. Let's stay on this platform theme, okay? This news, Roblox acquires Gilded, a platform to connect gaming communities. Um, now, for those of you who don't know, let me just... Uh, actually, this is the best way I can explain it. Gilded is basically like a knockoff Discord uh, with some different features, obviously not as fully featured as Discord, but uh, some things it did better were like shared calendars. So for guilds that raided together, things like that, like it's something that you see in WoW a bit, people use. Um, and so Roblox is buying this this platform that is something like a social network, um, but basically like a Discord clone. Anyone have thoughts on where Roblox is going with this? Because I would argue um, Gilded was maybe targeted at an older audience, right? It was definitely not the Minecraft, Fortnite, <clears throat> like typical, at least stereotypical Roblox kind of demographic on there, I don't think. Um, is this a nothing acquisition, Jeff, in your mind, or is uh, it significant? I, you know, probably somewhere in the middle. I, I, I wonder, I'm curious, do you think this was to try to gain access to the audience that gilded has or or to get that tool and that that technology that they'll then integrate into roblox because clearly roblox is a social game they're trying to build a, a metaverse it makes sense that you're going to need these these sort of social tools like a discord type platform so yeah. it might have just been a piece of technology that they're gonna they're gonna I'd, integrate there so i'd lean towards the latter honestly personally like it seems like it doesn't make sense. I, I personally had never heard of anybody that had used the service before, so I wouldn't be of the notion to believe that it's because of their user base, but I think they probably figured out a great way to group people that were into similar things or into similar raids, into similar Roblox worlds, whatever it may be. Maybe the parameters or like the, the way the search engine is built out is the tech that they're after. Um, that's what I believe that they're going for. Yeah, I mean, they say they, they wanted to get voice chat, video chat, integrated calendars, scheduling tools... Uh, and you know, the, the, I assume all those things will be integrated into Roblox. Um, it's, it's an interesting development, right? Cause it doesn't seem like they're buying users. It doesn't seem like they're buying games. This is really like nuts and bolts tech and tools. Um, you know, again, is Roblox sort of leading well, the way from a metaverse platform kind of standpoint? I mean, at the end of the day, that is what Roblox is, right? Is a tool set and a platform for you know it wouldn't make sense for them to buy games because all the games as i understand are user generated so you and know this is exactly the kind of acquisition that you would think a platform which is basically a toolbox for creators a sandbox for people um would do you know everyone knows the metaverse is going to need a good integrated calendar when i think metaverse that's easily one of the the, the main criteria <laughs> that i believe is going to be a core yeah. pillar of the metaverse the a calendar. good integrated calendar it, oh, with on-screen <laughs> alerts no but really i think like Did the since calendar everyone... get juiced is that <laughs> <laughs> you got, yes. the calendar got juiced <laughs> <laughs> i mean i think like since everyone playing roblox is probably on discord or some sort of voice chat anyways it just makes sense like why not keep it all in the ecosystem um so I think it makes sense on multiple levels, but I don't know what in particular they would have created that Roblox would have wanted to purchase and why they wouldn't have gone with maybe some sort of in-house integration for building a voice chat. You know, like that's what I'm really curious to. I, I, yeah, and I'll just extend that point, Jimmy, which is like, I'm always a little hesitant because I think Discord has, has built such a sticky kind of user base that, I mean, when was the last time other than if you're like solo queuing Valorant and you absolutely need to chat with randoms, right? Like when when's the last time anyone has ever used in-game voice chat or like 
uh, I can't even think of the last time I did, right? Like Discord has been so, so dominant in the last at least five years. Um, I think that's something that is also different for younger kids who are probably not always with their own friends and probably more open to speaking with random other young kids on the internet, which is, you know, definitely a security thing that needs probably <laughs> warrants some, you know, thinking about. But I think the younger generation is more open to speaking to random strangers on the internet, which is fun. Um, but yeah, like VR chat and all the rest, like super popular. And I think, you know, for the same reason, this would be used. Um, but I think that's just like a generational divide. 